Hello! Today I'm gonna paint a character from Demon Slayer, Kokushibo. Kokushibo is upper rank one, the strongest member of 12 Kizuki. Before begin, a good nail brush is a must. To get a precision drawing, especially for painting a thin line. Now, let's start. I already paint the nails with skin tone color, so let's start drawing the eyes. Kokushibo has six red eyes with a yellow-orange iris color. There is a kanji, Jagan no Ichi, written on his middle eyes. It means upper rank one. Those who meet Kokushibo will tremble in fear. While I'm already trembling when drawing him. Drawing his eyes is the hardest part. I'll try my hardest so his eyes will look balanced and not squint. I'll paint the thin black sclera on his eyes. Make sure to paint the sclera lines as thin as possible. Well, it took some time to paint the sclera. Drawing the nose and lips. Drawing the face line. Paint the iris with yellow color. Kokushibo middle eyes has a paler yellow iris, so I'm gonna blend it with white color. I'm gonna blend a bit of orange color for the upper and the lower eyes. Draw the flower-like pattern on the upper and the lower iris. Draw the kanji on his middle eyes, although it won't be seen clearly due to the super small size. Drawing the eyeliner.
drawing the eyelids. Drawing the demon flare mark on his forehead. Drawing the demon flare mark from his neck to cheek. Drawing the kimono. Drawing the hair.
emphasize the lines of his face. Add a shadow effect. Add a shadow effect to his mark, so it looks more realistic. Drawing the hairline. mistake, so I'll remove some part of the hairline and draw it again. Paint more black color to make his hair looks more proportional. Add a glitter red color as the background color. Continue drawing the hairline. shading effect to his face.
drawing the kimono lines. I'm already painted with a matte coat. I realize the mark in his neck doesn't look alike. So I'm gonna fix it by paint it with the beige skin color. And then Ray paint the mark again. Now, let's ray paint the mark on his neck. Here is the final look before I apply a top coat. Now let's apply a top coat. Final result. Thank you for watching.